Okay, welcome back. So in the last video I introduced the concept of Lamy's theorem. So in this video I will be explaining a practical example of Lamy's theorem. Uh, I will take a mass like this. I will take a mass like this. Which is uh, 6 newtons. The weight of the object is 6 newtons. And I will hang it with 2 ropes to a ceiling. Right? So that the ropes are like this, like this and this. Right? So I'll take the tensions of these two strings as T1 and T2. Right? So the angle this T1 makes with the vertical I will take as 30 degrees thirty degrees and the angle T2 makes with the vertical as 60 degrees so that these two forces actually are perpendicular to each other the two tensions are perpendicular to each other right? 60 degrees so what I'm asking is what are the values of T1 and T2? Now you can directly find T1 and T2 because uh, T1 and T2 are not equal, right? Sometimes they may be equal, we have to find out that. So we can directly find out T1 and T2. What you can do is, there are two ways to find this solution. Actually, what you can do here is that, uh, three ways actually, three ways, right? One way is by using the triangular theorem, right? Triangular theorem or the triangle law you can find, but I will not find that uh, using the triangle law. Uh, another way is to, uh, you can uh, decompose these forces, right? Decompose these forces along the horizontal and uh, vertical directions and uh, saying that this object is in equilibrium. If you hang like this, the object will be obviously in equilibrium. So you don't have to, the question has to be, has in, Indeed, not to be given that the object is in equilibrium. If you have experienced some practical situation like you are hanging a wall hang or something, you, you may have experienced that this object is already in equilibrium if you keep like this. So, if it is in equilibrium, you can find T1 and T2. But my actual intention is to explain you the theory of Lamy's theorem. So, I will solve this using Lamy's theorem. All right. So, I'll, ta I'll uh, draw the diagram, draw, draw the forces separately like this. I'll take a point here and draw T1 here and draw T2 here and the 6 newtons here. So what actually happens is that this uh, the <coughs> angle T1 makes with the vertical is has been given as 30 degrees. So this angle is 30. This angle is 30. And the angle T2 makes with the vertical has been given as 60 degrees. So this angle is 60. So if this angle is 30, this angle should be 150 because this is a straight line, this is 150 and if this angle is 60, this angle should be 120 because this is also a straight line, right? 120. So what actually happens is like this, this is T1, this is T2, this is perpendicular to each other. Uh, this is 6 newtons, this angle is 150 and this angle is 120, right? So this is what happens. Now we can put Lamy's theorem and we'll write by Lamy's theorem, Lamy's theorem, you can say, right? By Lamy's theorem, you can say, uh, T1, T1, right? This is T1. T1 divided by the sine value of this angle, that is opposite to this one, this T1 divided by sine 120 is equal to T2 divided by T2, which is this one, divided by the divided by the angle that is facing that, the sine value of the angle that is facing that is 150. So T2 divided by sine 150. Is equal to uh, this 6 newton, 6 newton divided by this angle, the sine value of this angle, so this is sine 90, 
I'll say sin 90 is equal to 1. So at regular height, this is 6 newton divided by sin 90 is 6 newton. So this is 6 newton. So what you can do to find t1 and t2 is now if a is equal to b is if a is equal to b and that is equal to c, you can say a is equal to c and b is equal to c. So you can say t1 divided by sin 120 is equal to 6 and t2 divided by sin 150 is also equal to 6. Right? T1 divided by sin 120 is equal to 6 and T2 divided by sin uh, 150 is also equal to 6. So T1 divided by sin 120 is 6. So T1 is equal to by cross multiplication you can say 6 times sin 120. So sin 120 is also equal to sin 60. So sin 60 is root 3 by 2. So 6 times root 3 by 2 is 3 root 3. So T1 will be 3 root 3 newtons. This one answer. The other answer, T2 divided by sin 150 is equal to 6. So T2 by cross multiplication is equal to 6 times sin 150. So sin 150 is also equal to sin 30. Sin 30 is half. So 6 times half is 3. So T2 is 3 newtons. So that's the other solution. So what you can say is T1 equals 3 root 3 newtons and T2 equals 3 newtons. So those are the solutions we need and that is by Lamy's theorem. So in the next video I will be talking about a new concept on how Lamy's theorem can be for, uh, put in, an is, in, an, in a situation when there are more forces. So hope to see you back with that video.